Hi everyone, it's Margaret here with 60 and Me. Today I want to talk about fashion. I want to talk about clothes and not specific clothes, styles or colors, but just clothing in general and how it can just bring out the best in you. Um, and as you get older, I think we start to be more timid maybe about, you know, being um, a little bit more um, true to ourselves, what we really want to wear. And maybe it's the opposite for you. Perhaps you've discovered your bohemian self and you're out there now shining in the world with the clothes you want to wear. But I think there's, um, there's so much, um, conversation about what's in trend and what's you know what's popular what you should be wearing and I want to talk about not just clothes I want to talk about accessories too because I think that accessories are for me the thing that makes an outfit I mean I can take a black dress and wear it 20 different ways with you know with my jewelry or scarves or hats and um, I'm sure that you can uh, do the same but here's t uh, some ways that you can sort of learn to love your clothes and anything that's in that closet is something that you've bought because you thought you loved it I mean you felt it was going to be perfect for you I think the first Thing really is to just dress for yourself and for your lifestyle. You know, I think one of the beautiful things about getting older for me is that I can go out in the street, you know, I can wear my sparkly hats, I can wear whatever I want, and people might look at you, but you're kind of just like a, you know, part of their movie, part of their, <laughs> you know, their passing show. You're, you're not really... They're not judging, so you can really wear whatever you like. And if you like wearing sparkly hats and, and, and you know, colorful uh, sweaters or coats, just go ahead and do it. And, you know, if you, and if, I mean, I don't think I've worn a skirt in like five years. I mean, I've worn some dresses with tights, but I just, I just wear pants. And I'll tell you the pants that I've just found that, and I'll give you, you know, just talking about loving clothes because, you know, they're comfortable and useful. Cargo pants. I mean, I know they're young for young people, but I love cargo pants because I love the fact I can put my stuff in my pockets, my phone, my you know, ID, my some cash, and I don't need to carry a bag. I've got, I mean, I can carry a backpack because if I'm traveling, you know, you need to take some things with you. But just now knowing that everything's on your body and especially when you're playing with grandkids or you know, just traveling. I just love cargo pants. So that's become kind of one of my, my go-to clothing. I just got back from a cruise and I think I wore my, I did, I wore them every single day. I'm not the same pair. I did take three pairs. I wore one, took two, but they rotated and I even washed one because I just, you know, they're just perfect for me. So just find the clothes that you love and that suit your lifestyle. That's, you know, that's honestly, I'm, I'm preaching to the converted, I know. Um, thing about self-care um, it, it, that, you know, if you treat your clothing like they're a self-care item for you, I think that's a really nice way of looking at it. Like I, I purchased this blouse a couple of months ago and when I saw it, um, it wasn't really me, like, cause I'm, I'm not, I don't wear flowers a lot because I, well, I'm just not a florally person, but when I touched it, I really liked the feeling of it. It made me feel like I was just, you know, getting a massage. Like it was just, it was helping me feel good about myself. And, um, I liked it so much that I went back the next day and I bought this one. <laughs> so I have two of them. Which one do you like best? Pink or blue? We'll do a vote. But anyway, I love them both, and they're super comfortable because they they're they're like they could be on my waist, and they've got like a you know long sleeves, they're elasticy, they're super comfy, and I just love them. So um, that buy things that you know that just make you feel good, that you feel are healing you, that are just doing something to soothe you. Another thing is to they say invest in quality over quantity. And I don't necessarily think that it's so much quality as for me as it is things I really like, you know, the things that I know I'm looking for and, um, you know, with hats, like I know that I like berets and if I went and bought, um, you know, some other kind of hat, I would probably might at the moment like it, but I wouldn't wear it very much. So it's more knowing what you like over quantity, like buying a ton of stuff and then having them just hanging in the closet, never being used. It's buying quality things that are quality to you. Could be something that's very inexpensive, um, in fact, I, I can reveal this, I guess I can reveal it, but I, I buy my underwear from Primark. They have the best underwear. <laughs> and whenever I go to the UK, I, I buy Primark underwear. And it's the, probably the cheapest underwear in the world, but it's it's quality for me. Another thing is to take care of your clothes. And um, I just took my coat in to be clean because it was after my cruise. It, you know, it's just that I knew that it needed to be cleaned. And even though it wasn't, you know, it could have gone a bit longer, just know when your clothes need to be uh, you know, repaired and taking it for cleaning, but just, just love your clothes. Love them. <laughs> Take good care of them. They're like friends. Try new things. Um, this is one, I've got to show you this top because I bought it for the cruise and then I actually didn't end up wearing it because uh, there was no kind of 
well, Viking cruises are, they're beautiful, but they're not kind of dress up -y nights. And there wasn't like a captain's dinner or anything. But I bought this top and I will wear it somewhere because I think it's just so pretty. It's got a kind of a scoopy neck. <laughs> so it's got, you know, isn't that pretty though? It's got sparkles. And it only goes to the waist, so it's no, it's not something that you can really wear like every day. It's it's like a not a crop top, but almost. But it's it's quite low, but it, you can put a pin. It's pretty, and so you know, just be adventurous. I mean, every now and again, just buy something that you really, really, really love, and that just it just sparkles, and I love it. Um, so experiment, different styles, different colors, different shapes, and um, you know, and that's one thing. The next thing is to personalize your clothes. Now you know me and my necklaces. I don't actually have one that goes exactly with this blue, but that's about the closest I could find. But, um, you know, I mean, I can show you, I think I've shown you most of my of my necklaces in different videos, but, you know, I've got my rainbow ones, which I wear with everything. Um, I've got this um, purple uh, is becoming one of my favorite colors for necklaces. I made this one. This was one of my little Polaris bead uh, creations. And then, you know, I found this one. I think I've talked about it at a charity shop and it broke. Um, <laughs> It was very long, and then I so I just rebeaded it, and now it's just a perfect sort of size for um, a purple top. It's very pretty, this one. I really, really like it. But it's like finding the jewelry and and the things that personalize your touch, your your being, your your heart and soul. And um, I've got another one here. This I bought this one in uh, Zermatt. And it's a chunky one. I like chunky necklaces. So that's, you know, beads. By the way, when I was in Greece, I saw beads that were from like 10,000 BC. And they were just like my beads. I mean, they were like chunky beads like this in like different materials, wood and bone. And um, so women for thousands and thousands of years have been wearing necklaces. And that's kind of the thing. But also I've got this one here, which is like this. Well, I think you've seen this one a million times. I've shown it because... <laughs> It's kind of my, it's kind of my, my YouTube necklace, but, um, yeah, I would wear that. I've worn it. I've worn it more now. I do. And the other thing is watches. Okay. Who has a watch? Because, um, you know, I wear a Timex watch. Trust me, it's Timex because it's got numbers on it. I don't like the sort of the Roman numerals. I like just the numbers on a, on a watch. But I did actually buy, um, I got some little watches here. And again, this is all about personalizing your outfit. You could wear just a black dress and put this on. So this is a, a little watch I bought in Bali. And it's really cool. It's got a watch with like some little um, bands that, um, so it's like a bracelet watch. It's very cute. And then I've got, this is my travel watch. You're going to laugh. It's like a great big one. And I put it on my wrist because when you're trying to catch a plane or a train and you want to see the time, you know, I never like to pull out my watch, my phone all the time while I'm traveling. So it's like a look, it looks like the Timex, but it's like three times bigger. I, I have bad eyesight. Like probably some of you do too. But this is one I want to show you because this is one um, that uh, one of the people on TikTok shared this, this watch. And um, it's kind of got a story to it because I could tell you the whole story, but the basically the idea is that I did have one of these Cartier watches at one time in my life um, and it cost me a lot of money because I was working and I was, uh, you know, buying stuff as you do. But um, I sold it um, when I got divorced and um, you probably can all relate to that story. But this one is a Seconda. Tell me that does not look like a Cartier watch. I mean, it's just almost exactly like a Cartier. And I thought, well, I'll buy that because I just, it's a memory. And it was like $60. You can get it in the UK, but it's a Seconda. I forget what it's called, but you can you can easily find this on their website. It's probably their best seller because it's just a complete dupe for a, a Cartier watch. But, you know, you get the idea of, of personalizing your outfits. That's that. I mean, I do them in all different ways. Um, you know, be mindful, again, sustainability of the environment when you're buying clothes. I think that's how you can love things when you know that your clothing choices are actually helping the world. So go to, I go to charity shops, I go to recycling, consignment shops and buy things secondhand. I'm a big fan of charity shops in the UK because they are recycling things, they're reusing things and I like that idea. And I always take anything that I'm not wearing after, you know, six months, I take it down to our recycling center and, um, you know, just, just pass it around give it to someone else. Um, one comment that um, comes up quite a bit when you're researching this is be mindful of the cost per wear. 
So um, you know, this is another way to love your clothes. If you're wearing something all the time, you're, the cost pro say you, you, you bought a cashmere sweater and it was expensive, but you wear it every other day because they can be worn like that. They're super sturdy. Well, not that I have a cashmere sweater, but anyway, um, you know, the point is, is that quality stuff can last. And you, you know, if you get a good number of wearings out of that, I mean, I've bought things to be honest from, uh, from other places that are cheaper that you really have to kind of a t-shirt it may cost you five dollars but after five washes it's not really wearable anymore so um well it is if you're cold i guess i mean it's all relative isn't it i shouldn't say that um shop your own closet as always there's always something there you can you can style differently you can add a piece of jewelry you can make it different you can dress it up dress it down just shop your own closet just pretend that you're going in looking at it for the first time oh haven't worn that in a while and uh, just do something magical with it and then of course you've got things like accessorizing with scarves and um, shawls uh, hats those kinds of things which are again like personalizing so take the time to plan your outfits you, okay hands up anybody that plans their outfit the night before I do. I do. I actually put, think about what because I'm some, mostly doing recordings all the time. So I put like I put a little outfit out every morning. So if I don't feel like being creative and going to my wardrobe, I can just use what I put up the night before. Anybody else do that? Am I the only one? I don't know. That's kind of strange. Anyway, what is your relationship with your clothes? Do you love your clothes? Do you need re, just to rethink about it all and maybe start again? Donate a bunch of your things and start fresh? Or are you happy with your clothes? I'd be really interested to know. Please, thank you so much for being here. Please um, subscribe or um, just like the video if you if you thought this was useful. It helps uh, YouTube to share it. And if you, by the way, want to join our Patreon supporters group, we have an amazing group of women there. We just had a group in Arizona get together for tea. There were like six of them. And they all met on Patreon, which is our supporters group. So um, it's something that you can join. Um, it's, you know, helps us as a, as a company because we don't, um, you know, we don't charge a membership fee or anything like that. But more importantly, it helps you to connect with other women in real life, in the real world. So you can see each other's clothes and you can learn and, and love each other. Take good care, everybody. Thank you again for all your support. I really appreciate you. Take good care. Stay safe and strong.